you very much everybody for inviting me to be here today for what is a very important launch um, of the mural that, that we see here. I want to first of all thank PPR for their tireless activism, um, their work seven days a week, 365 days a year, fighting for the rights for those uh, who are the most vulnerable and marginalised in our community. And lastly, I, I want to thank the children who have designed this. We see the numbers that are stark and should serve as an embarrassment and a stain on the reputation of this city because to have anybody uh, who is homeless is a shame in this city, but to have 15,000 children um, who are homeless is something that we should all be cognizant of. I don't think this mural can get enough attention and I am very mindful. The Build Hills Now group are unveiling their brand new mural um, that was put up just uh, that we've been painting over the last few weeks. Basically the mural um, is a representation of a protest that we had on the 1st of July. Um, all of the people that you see are people in the group, um, all people who've been affected by the housing crisis, by homelessness. And on the 1st of July, um, um, the group, which is made up of a lot of young people who are living in hostels and in overcrowded accommodation. They went to the council and they addressed full, the full council meeting and they gave each new councillor a brief of what steps they could take to um, to lessen the child homelessness crisis. At the moment we're looking at 15,000 children across the north who are recognised by the housing executive as full duty applicant homeless children. Some of those kids are here today and they're going to be um, delivering speeches in front of the mayor and supportive councillors asking them to be brave and stand with us, stand with the children of the Build Homes Now campaign and build social homes on sites such as such as Mackey's, Hillview, Sirocco, Gasworks and Glenmona. And I think what you'll see from the languages that we have on this mural that homelessness doesn't discriminate power does and I think that's it's a tiny reminder that this is people all across the city and every from all different backgrounds that are deeply affected by this crisis there's 15,000 young people under the age of 18 who are recognized by the homeless the housing executive that are homeless and it's not okay for this day and age for people to be homeless so I live in a different place area called New Lodge, but it has been getting a lot of work done in the past couple of years. But I still live in the old houses where I'm very overcrowded in my house. I'm really on top of everyone. So it's been hard being able to invite friends over and have safe overage because you're always on top of people. But I have a lucky situation where my situation isn't that bad. But I have friends who are homeless or, or sofa surfing for a whole Belfast and I have managed somehow to get a house thankfully now. But I'm mostly here to like help people with their experience and to be able to give them some voice with people who don't want to stand up and say that they're struggling or they just, they just want, don't want to come up and say in case anyone wants to say anything. So I'm here to give them some voice but also to help with others. The way we tackle the problems, we have found two bits of land that, are, that we think are suitable to make a new community. We found the Hillview in North Belfast and Mackey's in North West Belfast. So I've been really involved within the Mackey's site and we've I went up and seen the site and looked at it and see what we could add into it. So we've said that we it could be another community like the new lodge where there are youth clubs and shops, but being able to, it's a beneficial community so we'll be able to create shops and help people out who don't have jobs. So it could be beneficial they can get the jobs and be able to afford maybe the housing or like pay back whatever they want then just being able to make that community for others who may need it and I'm very thankful to be coming from a, such a strong community so being able to bring that over here and provide people who don't have housing with a community would be really good. Last year the group actually passed a motion at full council meeting which declared um, us in a state of crisis due to the amount of children that are homeless currently and said they would use all available powers. So we're in a crisis because we have 36,000 households currently waiting for a home in Northern Ireland. We're in a crisis because we've got 15,000 children who've been awarded few full duty applicant status by the housing executive. What that means in reality is we have children growing up in homeless hostels for years on end living in accommodation that is overcrowded that is so like damp and so moldy that their children are becoming sick it's a crisis because you know we have families where three you know up to six people are living in houses with two rooms which is you know having a huge effect on children's mental health on their development on their education and basically what we're doing today is we're just asking councillors we're asking the housing executive the Belfast City Council the mayor to, who's coming today for the 
to show to show will to, to change this. We know the families have found land across the city where social homes can be built in areas of extremely high need. We've commissioned a, a um, economist who showed where the money could come from. All we need now is the will to change this. And these guys, I mean, they've got huge plans for the future. They're already working with architects to design like thriving, beautiful communities and areas such as the Mackey site in West Belfast. They're not going to wait around now for people to create those plans for them. So we just need all the support we can get. We can't wait on Stormont getting attacked together uh, to deliver that. We have to build a mass. Belfast City Council has uh, is the main planning authority in Belfast. And um, I think what we've seen time and time again is a, is a planning process which is stacked against uh, the interests of ordinary people and is stacked in favour of big businesses and, and, and uh, 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 private developers. So I think there's a very clear role there in terms of, in terms of prioritising social housing. I think ultimately the uh, main political representatives in Belfast City Council are also those who up until quite recently were sitting in Stormont and were presiding over the housing situation there. Um, I mean for me the housing executive needs to be allowed to build homes um, and we would like to see funding uh, released automatically for the housing executive to build homes. Well, the council needs to provide help and support first and foremost um, and we also uh, we're looking at the local development plan right now to see what types of builds we, we, can, we can get in Belfast. You know, uh, social housing and, and housing for the housed refugees coming to this country needs to be at the top priority for that. You know, people need to come here and they need to, they need to know they're going to be safe, they're going to have a, a home, to, a place where they can, where they can call home uh, when they come here. So that's our first priority for us is to, to make sure that we can do that for them. As a country that have travelled around the world and set up home as far away as Australia, as America and anywhere else in between, we know what it feels like to leave a country, to leave your home and to leave your family and to seek that welcome from, from other countries. And I think it is incumbent upon us uh, to extend that welcome to those who find themselves setting up home in Belfast and to hear the stories where we see uh, our refugees and asylum seekers having their homes attacked again is shameful. I stand with you today. I know that the majority of other councillors and parties in Belfast stand with you. It's something that we have spoken about on a united voice in council. And I think that the very basic right of a dignified, safe home to call your own is something that I will do all that I can to help. And I'm sure the other parties that are represented here will do the absolute same. So we faced a lot of problems within the Mackey site that the council have wanted to put a cycling track around us. So we tried to cooperate with them and say, that we could maybe do the green bit of green space and like a park, so an outdoor bit, but also have the community maybe flats and apartments, but also have the space, not just like small rooms, but having apartments that are going to be suitable for people. It's the same with Hillview. Hillview used to be a shopping centre, but somehow we managed to be able to talk with the councillors and the Lord Mayor and being able to convince them that there should be social housing built and we're just being able to come out and say social housing is something that we need and this is being addressed. We have got, you have got the power to come and do this. We have just have the voice that are going to keep coming back. So I just want to say that you know every, we, the campaign, the children, the families in the campaign who all know what, what it's like to live on housing waiting lists, they've been out and they've identified land across the city They've commissioned economists to see where that money has come from. So we know that there's land and we know that there's money and all we want is the political will to do something about this and to change the lives of those people who are waiting on those lists.